Abang ada satu cara untuk buatkan makanan jadi tahan lama. Macam mana? Dengan cara food irradiation process. Bahaya ke? Hmm, bahaya lah juga. Tapi kita tengok dulu. Semua benda ada kebaikan dan keburukannya. Jadi, mari kita lihat advantage and disadvantage of food irradiation. Jom. So, hi, welcome to Malaysian Irradiation Facility or we call it as Sinagama. I am Izzat and I am one of the director in this facility. Food irradiation is a method that is very significant in increasing the variety of the products in the current market. We also improve the quality of the particular food that is being treated. It also um, creates high chance of probability to eat a more premium product and also to elongate the chef life for specific food. There are three types of rays that is being involved in this method. First is X-ray, gamma ray and electron beam. By choosing the right wavelength and dosage, this ray can prevent sprouting of vegetables like potatoes and maintain their freshness and taste. It also can destroy harmful bacteria that could be present in spices, meat or seafood. In our facility, once the food has been treated with the proper radiation, this logo will be applied to the packaging of the food itself. This logo is an uh, international symbol which indicate the treatments of radiation has been involved. So if you go to the sh uh, shop, supermarkets or grocery, if you found uh, this logo on the specific particular food, then you know that the particular food has undergoes uh, food radiation, food irradiation. They can read fresh fruits and vegetables of insects that might otherwise hitchhike, spreading to other regions of the world, where they could have devastating effects on the environment and agriculture. They also involve magnetic rays or beams of electron onto food, so the energy is transferred at a necessary intensity to give the desired effect. It is actually a cold process, so any food can retain their unique flavors and aromas that would be diminished by heating. It also avoids re reliance on chemical methods such as fumigation or pesticide to combat bacteria, insect or other spoilage organism. In addition, those radiation pass through packaging so the food remain protected from bacteria or insects after treatment and will remain, remain food radiation of a chemical-free and heat-free approach. It also maintains fresh food quality, reduces the risk of foodborne disease and prevents the sprout of exotic insects through global. Hello, my name is Muhammad Arizan and I am president of Jakim. I will present about food irradiation process. Okay, uh, food irradiation process that we Food is exposed to the carefully measured amount of intense ionizing radiation. When food is irradiated, the radiation energy will break the bond in the DNA molecule of microorganism. Thus, the microorganism will die or become unable to reproduce. The frozen food uh, take longer radiation dose to kill the micro. Uh, the effectiveness of the process depends on the organism sensitivity to the irradiation. Okay, this is example of the food irradiation place. Uh, today I am Ashram Najun Benima. Today, I'm going to represent the consumer that use uh, food irradiation in my daily life. There are so many advantages of food irradiation process to a consumer. First, raw food contain high moisture content that a good place to inhabit bacteria. Food irradiation process function as to destroy pathogen bacteria that leads to food spoilage. This will ensure the food is healthy to take by the consumer and let to prevention of food poisoning and several diseases such as dehydra, boy meeting and nausea. 
Secondly, food irradiation process helps to retain nutrients of food from loss and make the food nutritious to consume. For example, nutrition such as proteins, carbohydrate, fats, and minerals are unaffected by the irradiation process. Certain vitamins like thiamine may decrease, but these are of the same magnitude in as other processes such as thermal sterilization process. Furthermore, food irradi irradiation process is one of the safest way to eliminate microorganisms in the food. Food irradiation has been examined in 2011. The European Food Safety Authority review re-examined the proof and reaffirmed its opinion that food irradiation is healthy. In addition, and the last one is to remove the food contaminants, irradiation can also help to prolong the shelf life of food products by killing bacteria that spoil and decompose food substances. By increasing the shelf life, consumers can store their food for the long term. Okay, next is the advantages of food irradiation to the food industry. There are many advantages of applying the irradiation process to the food industry company when it shows benefit in terms of effectiveness, cost, and convenience. Food irradiation process is one of the alternative ways to the fumigation of the food. Fumigation of food with various chemicals like methyl bromide, ethylene oxide, and ethylene dibromide has been banned in some countries due to the health and environmental reasons. Next, the irradiation process also is an energy saving process compared to other food processes such as scanning and refrigeration. By using the irradiation method instead of freezing, will result in great benefit to the food company because this method can increase the shelf life of the food for the marketing requirement. Food, food products such as meat, seafood and sausage can be sliced can be sterilized to stop the growth of microbial and some of the food industry which has applied this irradiation technique reported that they have increased their profit and allowed them to compete with other large distributor food company by providing better quality of food and increase their shelf life. Food industry also can improve their sanitization on the food product with an effective controlling food bond spoilage microorganisms like especially E. coli and salmonella that can prevent from the disease outbreak. The use of irradiation technology can inactivate the microorganism that will decrease the risk of food spoilage to the food industry company. As a consumer, the word irradiation seem like dangerous which associate with nuclear technology. Food irradiation can cause risk to human health, which uh, it can change the chromosome in the body, uh, cause premature death, and, and develop various kinds of cancer. Food irradiation also can change the nutritional value of the food. For example, the orange uh, that treated with radiation bean, the vitamin C content in the orange are less than the vitamin C content in orange without the radiation bean. <laughs> this process can cause disadvantage to the consumer that strict to the to their diet. They need to take another supplement to compensate with the loss of the vitamin C from the treated with radiation. Another disadvantage of the food irradiation is the consumer unable to identify the food spoilage on the food. The radiation beam can eliminate all the sign that shown on the food which the taste, the texture and the mold from the food which made the consumer unable to identify the food if uh, become spoiled. Jadi uh, food degradation ini juga mempunyai kekurangan dari segi industri pemakanan tersendiri. Yang pertama adalah uh, 
cinta semua makanan Boleh melalui proses ini Di mana sebagian makanan daripada industri peladangan dan juga pertanian Tidak boleh melalui proses ini Sebagai contoh uh, Tendur dan juga susu Tidak boleh melalui uh, food irradiation kerana Ia boleh mengubah rasa dan juga tekstur makanan tersebut Seperti mana yang kita ketahui Food irradiation adalah salah satu proses yang Mendedahkan uh, gamari kepada bakteria di dalam makanan dengan tujuan untuk menghapuskan bakteria tersebut tetapi ia boleh mengakibatkan kesan yang lebih buruk jika insufficient dose diterima iaitu boleh menyebabkan evolution kepada microbial strain di dalam bakteria yang boleh menyebabkan mutation jadi proses ini boleh dikatakan tidak 100% selamat kerana dia boleh menyebabkan kesan yang lebih buruk iaitu mutasi bakteria Uh, dan yang terakhir, uh, kebiasaan makanan yang melalui proses food irradiation ini harganya akan melantun naik. Hal ini kerana industri pemakanan uh, memerlukan kos yang tinggi untuk membeli dan menyelenggara uh, instrumen uh, food irradiation ini. Uh, boleh dikatakan uh, melalui kajian saya, uh, kos untuk menyelenggara dan membeli uh, satu instrumen lengkap untuk uh, kaedah food irradiation ini uh, boleh mencecah 5 juta USD Jadi Kos yang uh, yang tinggi Menyebabkan uh, Industri pemakanan juga harus meletakkan makanan Harga makanan yang lebih tinggi Di pasaran Hi, my name is Nur Alda Nabila Binti Rusli With metric number C5045 As conclusion Food irradiation method is considered safe And effective way to preserve the Value of food without causing any Health concern This is because the food is not become Radioactive This method is effective in eliminating the microbe in the food and which in turn can reduce the food found in us. Also, the responsible authorities such as FDA, WHO and CDC agreed that food irradiated is safe for consumption. Despite contributing to the food quality improvement, they are still debating on the negative consequences from this method. Therefore, there should be an effective strategy such as an awareness program about the food irradiation process in order to clear the myths about irradiation. Other than that, food irradiation should be used in uh, conjunction with integrated food safety management and programs and bodies. After all, the concern will always remain but by following the best management practice, we can obtain the advantage from of the technology with minimal consequences.